Good morning. Welcome to the new format of the Guy R. Cook Report. And you'll notice that we now have two co-hosts. One is the regular guy, Kelvin, from Cambridge, England. And the new guy, which isn't really a new guy if you follow the show, Fraser Ramsey from Edinburgh Dusters. Welcome. They're not, they're not going to say anything. Those British it. people, you get on a, living on an island, you don't talk much. You notice that? Now I'll well, try it again. Good morning. Morning, afternoon. Right, there we go. There we go. There we go. We've got them. So on B2B Thursday, today on September the 22nd, we've got a number of people in chat. Welcome for following the show. Appreciate that. Um, the people that are listening on their way to work on their MP3 player, we appreciate that. And the show notes, which is always, are going to be available at the com, except instead of 921, it'll say 922 once I get the notes up for today. And that will be the audio that on about the three things we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Google My Business, because that's important, even if you're in Scotland. We're going to talk about the Guy or Cook Report questions, because your company being more transparent is very important. And how to use structured data, just for getting your logo and your company name indexed and registered. Um, so first off, the first link that we're going to go to is Google My Business. And that page looks like this. When you go to the Google My Business, the first thing they say, shout it out, first call to action, show people you're open for a business. How many times have you gone to a website and go, gosh, should I call them now? Is they open now? Well, if they've done their homework, they've got, just like it shows in the screenshot there, their hours of operation at 4 to 10 p.m., their phone number, and their address. Maybe it's a brick and mortar that you need to walk into. If it's not a brick and mortar, maybe it's the company that likes to clean. Maybe it's Edinburgh Dusters. They can still list their hours of contact availability, you know, when you can call him and what that number is to call him at. So I encourage you very much so to claim your space because this is free. Google my business and get your company located. The, uh, the benefits there are many. There's show them when you're open. Make sure your business information is accurate. Maybe you changed addresses and you didn't get it updated. Edit your business information all in one place. Show what's unique about your business. And that, and that um, in the instance of show what's unique about your business, we'll go back to the show notes. That takes us right to the Guy or Cook report questions. What's unique about your business? And another way I say it is, what makes you stand out as your brand apart from all the other brands? And we'll, we'll pick on Fraser again, because he's here. The company that likes to clean says in one phrase, we like to clean. Does the other cleaning company in Edinburgh say they're the company that likes to clean? No, they don't. So when you have to make that choice, maybe you don't know Fraser at all, you'd like him if you knew him. And maybe you don't know the other guy at all. So you have to measure and weigh, what do I like about them? Well, in the instances of the Guy or Cook Report questions, we take that to the next level. We not only say, are you the company that likes to clean? But we ask things like you can see here in the show notes. What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, maybe, maybe Frazier's spare time, he likes to go fly fishing. What? He's a fly fisherman. Me too. So... There, you've made that bond. What's the last picture you took on your phone, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. What cheers you up? So give that a go. Take a look at those questions. And if you want to play, if you want to be involved, you'll notice that right down at the bottom of the 27 questions, you just contact B Domain Hosting, our parent company, which says if it isn't tested, it doesn't work, and send in your questions, your five answers that you picked. And ignore that blab.am. I just noticed that it's there. That's going to change. And we'll do those, those questions in an interview on our show. Yes, because that, 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 that platform is no more anymore. That is defunct. So right. It's no more. So every once in a while, we got to look at these things and update our content, which goes right back to what Google My Business does. Make sure that your company information is correct. And now I know that that needs to be updated. So the third thing is enhancing your site's attributes. 
And that is to say, what are the business details about your company, your physical location, your contact information, your marketing details, like what's the official name, the official logo, the official uh, social profile info. Like if your business page on Facebook has got the wrong address in, or if you've not done what Guy Cook needed to do and update the 27 questions page and get rid of the blab link. Okay, things like that. So go to that link in the show notes. And like I said, those show notes are all that's available. If you go to the Guy or Cook report, uh, podbean.com, because that's where the audio is going to be. And you'll click on this second link here. The first one's the title. So go to the second one. It'll underline when you put your mouse on it. And that'll take you straight to this page that fast the Guy or Cook Online Services blog, and then you'll see that content that we've got for today's show, which looks like this, okay? So, on that note, I'll remind you again, if you go to the Guy or Cook Report .podbean.com, you'll get to the show notes, and it's got, oh, and I made a new call to action. Check out our free email newsletter. What the email newsletter is, is the Friday wrap-up done as an email powered by MailChimp. Easy to cake. It's free. Thanks to Fraser Ramsey, Edinburgh Dusters, the company that likes to clean. And, and, and that says it all. There's many times when I've said, hey, could you be a co-host? I got a job. I'm, I'm going to be working. And so he not only likes to clean, he does a lot of cleaning. And if you're doing a lot of it, that means you're getting a lot of word mouth referrals. In my instance of appreciation for the brand, I've come to know Fraser as the company that likes to clean because he's simply doing it all the time. Uh, thanks to Eileen Smith at Basic Blog Tips for giving us the news about Screencast-O-Matic. That's how we record this show and give you the high definition. We're on Stitcher, Spreaker, on iTunes. Because we're on Podbean, we're on iTunes. And you can follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, be sure to give a look at the Guy or Cook Report evaluation question, if you would. And so that I don't have to say, did I forget anything? I will now say, when you're on Facebook and you're looking for a new group to follow, find these ones. Friends Just Chatting is what gave birth to the, uh, I guess, so social media en engagement. I even yeah. wouldn't come to know these two guys, Frazier and Kelvin, were it not for Friends Just Chatting. I think we both met there, didn't we? Seems like, I, I, yeah. I think I kind of met you briefly like, with Friends This Chatting Guy. I meet, met you in a different, on Blab, obviously, at the time, but I think I met you out with, and we got, uh, right. eventually, Kel Kelvin uh, kicked off, friend, kind of started doing a few Blabs. So, on that note, and remember to keep your face straight. Oh, there's the link. You go into the show notes, and you'll see the way you can subscribe to this channel if you want to be part of the live conversations. And listen and learn as we do it. And on that note, I think I'm going to say those three magic words. Thanks for being with us today, you guys. It's a wrap.